Okay, so cob. Basically, cob. There's three main ingredients. You have clay, you have sand, and you have straw. Not hay because hay will decompose. You and don't want to. Yeah, so you want to use straw because the straw has that. Uh, it's round and it has air in the middle, so you, you're going to find out that it it serves as a uh, insulative factor. Mm -hmm. So straws, not hay. Um, so where do you find your clay? Well, in Kentucky, you have plenty of clay in the soil. The problem is trying to fi figure out how much clay is in your soil. So you want to use um, subsoil, not the topsoil, because the topsoil, that has a lot of organic material in it. So you want to take off the topsoil, which is this. Garden. Yeah, and put it in your garden. So it's that real rich, deep, you know, the dark brown, black soil. You don't want to use that. Just put it in your garden. Underneath that, you've got the uh, the, su the subsoil, which is that has the clay in it. Um, so you have to find a recipe where you have enough subsoil, or and enough sand, or you have to find how much sand, how much clay you're going to use. Um, so if you have too much sand in your recipe, it's going to crumble, and you don't want that. If you have too much clay, it's going to crack, and you don't want that. So you have to find the right recipe. So how do you know you have clay in your soil? What you can do is just take a ball of, clay, of subsoil um, and make it like a little ball, and then you cut it down the middle, and if it's shiny, that's clay. But if it's gooey, like the stuff that you find, like on the bottom of a, a, a pond or a lake, it's all like, like that swampy kind of stuff. You don't want that because that has a lot of organic material in it, and you don't want your ha your walls to rot. So this is the clay a picture of the clay right there. It's nice and shiny. So um, so how much do you need of each? Well, that's where we have to figure out how much we're going to we need for each um, component. So you have the sand, which acts as the cement. You add that with your clay, which acts as the glue, and you have water to taste. And and we'll do a demonstration so you know how much water to add. Um, so you mix those two up, you mix those three up, and then you want to do a burrito toss. And you'll 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 see a, a better demonstration when we do it. So you mix it up, get it all mixed in, and you want to do the burrito test. And then you add in your straw, not hay, and then you mix that up. And the straw acts as a rebar. It's the tensile strength that 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 works in the, in the cob. And this is a picture of what it looks like afterwards. So that's. Um, cob basically in one fell swoop. So, in, so we're, what we're going to do today is the cob here in Kentucky. We've already done soil tests. So, what we're what our recipe is 50% clay and 50 50% sand. So, in other areas, um, it's going to be higher or it could be lower. You just have to do brick tests. Um, are we doing brick tests or? No, we're just demonstrating. Yep. Okay. So you can feel each one. <laughs> you can feel each one to see. Okay, that one's one's gonna sand, one's gonna crumble, and one's gonna be just right. So, and that's how you figure out how how do you figure out? Okay, which is which is the best recipe? Is the sand the same as before? Like what you talked about the mason sand. Yes. Always mason sand. Um, you can also use crushed limestone, which we've used in some of our recipes. Um, it just depends. It's price. It's all about price. Yeah, it's you cheaper don't for make lunch. That beach sand again no, I'm no. Just erase beach sand from your mind, <laughs> and you always use either mason sand or that crushed limestone. Um, Which is the best? 